Did you know that this painting was sold for $42 million earlier this year? Hi, I'm Harshi. I'm an artist and I talk about art that moves me. Watch me recreate my own version of this painting as I tell you five factors that drove the price tag of this film so high. The first and the most important reason is that it was created by the surrealist master himself, Rene Mathret. If you are not aware of this name, you probably are aware of his other most famous paintings. Mathret was known for taking ordinary mundane objects and settings in his composition and twisting them just enough to still retain their uh, expected nature of existence. Almost all of his work is considered as masterpieces of 20th century and they are even addressed like that. The second reason, L'Empere de la Mer is a part of 17 oil paintings. And the reason there are 17 of them is Metrid exhibited one of his L'Empere de la Mer in Venice Biennial in 1954. And in that exhibit, it the same painting was promised to four buyers, one of which was Peggy Guggenheim. People even at that time were so taken by the idea of day and night coexisting that they kept asking him to create more and he delivered. This is also the third reason why this painting did so well. The art world seems to love exclusivity and as I mentioned before, most of the painting in this series belong to a private collection away from the public eye. And even the paintings that made it to the public exhibit are exhibited in the best places possible like Met in New York, Guggenheim in Venice and Royal Museum of Art in Belgium, which only adds more value to its sister paintings. Mo Austin, he is the fourth reason behind the big price tag of this painting. We all know that Mo Austin was the formative head of Warner Brother Music, but next to music, his biggest love was art. He had a big art collection from all the cool kids in his time and was considered a visionary. In fact, he acquired two Madrid, which stayed in his house for over 40 years. And last contributor for hiking up the price of this beautiful painting is its sister, another L'Empere de la Mer, which was sold in 2022 for $80 million. Essentially hiking up price of all of the paintings in this series. The final factor in the value game will always be a buyer. What someone is willing to bid determines the value of the object. If no one wanted to buy this, it probably will have no value at all. So given the fact that someone did buy it, makes it pretty valuable, don't you think?